Hi, this is Fern G. Zadkar, website www.ferngzadkar.com. Welcome to my Facebook Live reading, Music, Dogs and Cats, Part 3, Q&A. On that note, I see that uh, it's time for a little bit of Q&A. If you have any questions or even if you just have some comments that you would like to type them up in the comment section, I'd be happy to um, answer them. So I see here, Shirley asks if I have a favorite genre or theme for my poetry writing. And that is such an interesting question because um, it, it's really, it just depends on how I'm feeling at a particular time. So when I write poetry, I might be in a silly mood and write a poem like Fischenstein, or I might be in a more reflective mood and write a poem, you know, about the grieving process or whatever. And uh, as I said, I've, I've had my poetry published uh, so many different times. And, and what I do as well is I often seek out um, um, anthologies or journals that seek specific themes. And if it's, if it's in keeping with something I've already written or something that I feel like writing, I'll say, okay, here's the theme. And it's about, it could be about anything, really. It could be about women. So then I, uh, I would submit a poem about women or women's rights, something like that. So basically it's, very, very liberal, and um, you know, it, it just basically depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Uh, <laughs> Marie says, My favorite living poet. Oh, that's nice. I hope that's not too egotistical to assume that's referring to me. If it is, that's a very high praise indeed. There, there's so many wonderful poets out there, and um, you know, I, I make it a point actually too to. Um, to read poetry by poets from all over the world, contemporary and past. And what I do is I have um, I have a little uh, notebook where I keep copies of their poems, you know, um, with uh, credit to them, of course. And that's that's really uh, very gr uh, gratifying to be able to be able to come back to these poems because they are my favorites and I enjoy reading them and it makes me think about those poets and makes me think about how poetry can really resonate resonate I'm thinking of my Costco saran wrap resonate with <laughs> with with um just generally with the public in general and and that's why with this poetry reading I've tried to choose themes that I think will have a very broad appeal Sandy asks how do you feel about online versus in-person reading and I appreciate that comment that's very very interesting because it, it's a whole different ball game you know um right now I'm I'm at my laptop and I'm basically looking at myself, which is really strange, um, as opposed to, and you, you can't gauge really, unless, unless by the comments, but when you're reading poetry, you're not reading comments. So it, it's very difficult to see how your audience is reacting. You don't get that in person, obviously, uh, experience. You know, just when you're reading, doing an in-person reading, you get to see the smiles on somebody's face. But on the other hand, you're better able to reach a wider audience, obviously, when you're online. And you know, the technology affords other opportunities. But I do have to say that uh, before the pandemic, I did a reading at a large theater. It sat 326 people. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'm gonna be able to see everyone, have more you know, interaction feedback. But what they did was this beautiful, beautiful venue. But they made the entire theater go completely black. They had the spotlight on me, so I couldn't see anyone. It was other than my notes. It was like being in a sensory deprivation chamber. So, but yet it was a wonderful experience. So there's the dichotomy. So I can't really answer that question because advantages and disadvantages to everything in life, right? And um, Bonnie says, I enjoyed this one, Fern, and sharing your love for both music and for our furry little friends. I could connect with these poems, many thanks. Well, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone. I see that our time is up. And as I said, I, I so very much appreciate your having joined in. 
and I would invite you to please join me for the next three Saturdays for more themed poetry readings. And next week's themes are birds and art. Thank you again. It's been a pleasure. See you next week. Bye-bye. Acknowledgements. Part three is an excerpt from the original full video, which was kindly sponsored by the League of Canadian Poets and the Canada Council for the Arts. Thanks very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and please be sure to subscribe. For more poetry, my book Shards of Crystal is available on Amazon. Thanks again and stay tuned for a new video every Wednesday.